Hello, it's Monday the 14th, I'm FX Blue, and this is the Market Brief. Uh, so it was old Queenie who dropped the banger of the weekend at the G7. Uh, she asked, are we supposed to look like we're enjoying ourselves when they're all posing for a photo? Ha, so many lols. Uh, but Boris played nicely with the EU leaders, that's despite trust between London and Brussels remaining a bit of an issue, not to mention Macron's comments about Northern Ireland. Uh, but largely the meeting was a success with general consensus around all the major issues. Looking ahead, we have one week until the June 21st deadline um, and there's still no firm decision about the final lifting of uh, restrictions. We've had several calls to delay, citing reasons like the rate of the spread, the proximity to the school year end, confusion over foreign holidays um, and the rate of hospital admissions, to name a few. But Boris is keen to keep the country moving forwards. Um, the 1-0 win in the opener against Croatia certainly got us off to a good start at the Euros. But domestically, we may see a soft lifting um, of a few more restrictions next week, um, followed by a four-week delay for the complete removal. We'll see. Um, overall, that probably wouldn't make too much of a difference, given the freedoms that are already in place. But it's... Uh, Something for a few folk to no doubt get worked up about all the same. Um, in the market, sterling remains range-bound for the time being. It's likely to have another reactive week um, ahead of anything from the Fed meeting this week or the MPC meeting next week. Uh, for now, though, we kick off around 141.15 against the dollar and about 116.60 against the euro. So the US is all focused on the Fed, um, and that's to be expected given the inflationary data that surprised to the upside last week. Uh, touching 5% inflation was the highest we've seen since April 2008, um, and it's pretty clear the market feels that now is the time for some clarity over uh, the Fed plans to taper bond purchases um, and even eventually increase interest rates. But will they comply? There's always a chance that they won't, uh, especially given Powell's continued uh, reference to the transitory inflation, uh, with it being linked to stimulus rather than any structural event. So perhaps they'll want to see one more set of employment data, one final non-Farm Friday sweepstake before they comment, but we'll find out later this week. Uh, if we don't see any comments after the meeting, uh, chances are the minutes will be very hot property when they come out in a couple of weeks' time because surely, surely there's no way 5% inflation can be completely ignored from discussion. Uh, the dollar index is poised for a move higher um, if the Fed does play ball with some forward guidance. Um, and euro dollar opens the week from about 121. So that's it from me. Have a great day. Hope the week kicks off with a strong start for you. Um, and good luck to the home nations. Join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.